I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Well, on January the 27th and 67, we lost three uh, good friends and astronauts in a fire. The first real tragedy that had occurred in the uh, space program. We just got up there and said, look, we made a mistake, a big mistake, and it cost three lives. Uh, but we think we understand it now, and, and we want to go forward, and it, and it worked out that way. Twenty months later, after several unmanned test launches, Apollo 7 was ready. The command capsule had been completely redesigned. GRR. And I have to tell you that the spacecraft was uh, fantastic. Uh, we had no real problems. Uh, it was good enough so we could commit Apollo 8 on uh, a flight around the moon. The 36-story tall Saturn V. Its three stages had almost five and a half times the thrust of Apollo 7's rocket. Apollo 8 journeyed to within 60 miles of the moon's surface and circled it 10 times. Anders, Jim Lovell, and Mission Commander Frank Borman became the first humans to see the moon firsthand and to view the entire Earth from space. Feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Four days later, the lunar module Eagle, carrying Armstrong and Aldrin, separated from the command module Columbia and began its journey to the surface. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. I'm going to step off the limb. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh, uh, here's the way about For perhaps no other time in the program, not even during Apollo 11, the world's attention became focused on the status of three astronauts. Here is a bulletin from ABC News. The Apollo 13 spacecraft has had a serious power supply malfunction that could cause the lunar landing mission to be terminated early. NASA worked unceasingly to bring the astronauts home. The crew moved to the lunar module Aquarius and shut down all equipment except life support and communications. Five days and 22.9 hours after liftoff, cameras on the aircraft carrier Iwo Jima captured the most important splashdown in the history of the Apollo program. Apollo 17 became the only night launch of the program. Gene Cernan would have an opportunity to walk on the moon. At 12 days, 13 hours, and 51 minutes, it was the longest voyage. America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. What began as a race between opposing nations ended up improving conditions for all humanity. But in a very real sense, it will not be one man going to the moon. We make this judgment affirmatively, it will be an entire nation.